For the next two months, I'm going to be traveling around Central America. Wow. And this is more what traveling is all about, just playing volleyball on the beach with some random strangers in rural Costa Rica. The region has it all, from pristine white beaches, coral reefs, volcanoes and forests. The jungle is just endless, it goes for miles and miles and miles into the distance. Not forgetting tons of stunning nature. Starting in Cancun, I'll be heading south down the Yucatan Peninsula, experiencing Mexico's beaches, cenotes and incredible Mayan ruins. Heading into Belize, I visit Cay Corca, home to the longest alive coral reef on earth. After a quick stop in San Ignacio. Is it on the GoPro? We enter the mysterious country of Guatemala, where we arrive in the hidden ancient city of Tikal. On behalf of our ancestors, the Maya, we would like to welcome you to Tikal. Well, that's one way to get away from the crowd of Tikal. Just wait till the tour groups leave and then you have it completely to yourself. We then cross Guatemala, uncovering more hidden gems at Lake Atitlan. There's a Mayan ruin at the bottom of the lake. <laughs> Not forgetting the sunrise hike, 4,000 metres up Acatenango volcano. This plume is actually insane, it goes so high up. Yeah. Worth it. So worth it. Oh my God. I then go to Costa Rica, where I experience both the lows. So it's been three days, we're on day three, and I think I'm gonna be leaving tomorrow. And the highs of travel. So this is the longest zip line in Latin America? Yeah. Wow. Before I head to the Pacific coast to experience one of the most biodiverse places on Earth. for a mammoth 12-hour journey to my final stop, the urban metropolis of Panama City. Not many cities in the world where you've got a skyline like this. Is there anything that this city doesn't have? <laughs> if I keep your dingle pan dry, I'll be a bit like, tell people. Join me to see some of the most incredible hostels I've ever stayed in. But also some of the worst accommodation of my life. There's currently a bat under the bed down there as well, which is quite concerning. But as anyone that goes backpacking knows, it's not all highs, and there are many bad moments, which I'll share. Definitely the most stressful, intense border crossing I've ever had. This is eight weeks in Central America. <laughs>